Now from here is my paper station. You can see here all of my eight and a half by 11 cardstocks and 12 by 12 designer papers and cardstock. Over here on this, this first column here is where I put all my scrap paper organized by color. So when I make my cards, they're very handy. Here in the middle is where I put all my flowers. And then over here is where I store my ribbon, also arranged by color. Now let me go up here to the next area. Here is where I store my office supplies, pens, markers, staples, glue sticks, sticky notes, and what have you. Here are some buttons and more storage for my die cut machine. And there's my Janome So Mini, which I use for card making. And over here is more die cut accessories and supplies. Over here are some cutting mats and stamping mats. And more designer paper, mostly 8x8, 6x6, and 4.5x6.5. Now down here is where I store all my unmounted rubber stamps. And they are arranged alphabetically by brand. I just store them on these easy mount stamp storage panels by Crafters Companion. And just to show you, give you a sample, here is one of my favorite stamping brands, our daily bread designs, right there. Isn't it pretty? I like it a lot. Now down here is where I store all my supplies. Like all my buttons are here, netting, frames, wood supplies, pearls, plastic accessories and accents, all my washi tape, different kinds of magnets, embossing powders, different kinds of alphas, journaling accents, metal, different kinds of paper embellishments, here's different kinds of tags, all my rub-ons are here, special paper and fabric supplies, different sticker sheets, Thanksgiving supplies and accents, Halloween stuff, Valentine supplies, and I have three drawers for Christmas. Just Christmas accents, Christmas paper, stickers, and Christmas tools, embossing um, folders, and what have you. I have a drawer for travel, for baby, and a special drawer for my Japanese accents and supplies, which I have collected over the years. And a drawer for hardware, a drawer for different kinds of tools, and chipboard accents. Now, stored in between these two metal fixtures is a collapsible butcher's block I got from, I think, HSN, if not QVC. This is very handy, especially when I have big projects. Like, for example, when I was finishing my son's first year scrapbook and I needed more workspace. This was really, really awesome to have. And now I gotta demo this to you. Extra power cord. Extra workspace. Over on this side is where I store my other stamps. So you can see here are my foam stamps, which I rarely use, but I'm still keeping them for now. Unmounted stamps over here and some close to my heart stamp sets and other accents. But over here, you will see that there are two drawer units stacked together and both of them are from Best Craft Organizer. 
starting from the top we have empty drawers so more room for fun stuff and I have some stamping tools and card making tools as we go down you will see in red labels are my Stampin' Up stamps arranged according to theme so from sympathy to birthdays love wedding baby etc and as we go down you will see other wood mounted stamps and they are arranged by brand you'll see some hampton art and some unity stamps rubber stampede hero arts i have some leblanche inka dinka do and some stamp abilities my dollar stamps more of our daily bread designs and just right stampers some stampendous my asian stamps some psx and other brand of stamps and alpha stamps what's in here Ooh, more stamps now heading to this side is more supplies on top but you can see here are my three ring biters where I store my clear stamps and they are arranged by brand and alphabetically let me just show you one of them I hope they don't fall that's how they are stored so I can easily flip through them and use what I need over here are my catalogs and I have all my sentiment stamps and my images over here so when I need let's say I want to make a birthday card I can just go through sentiments what sentiments would be nice to use and then flip through the pages and at least I know what stamp brand and so I know where to go clear stamps or wood mounted stamps or unmounted stamps and then I also have a three ring binder for all my clear and unmounted Christmas stamps also arranged by brand as we go down you will see my art bin organizers I love art bin they're really good for a lot of my crafting supplies I have this one for all my card sleeves which I use especially when I was selling my cards in craft shows I have an art bin satchel for stickles and I have a bunch of my kits that I have not used or started with but they are there at least I know where they are I have an art bin for my stamped images pictures clear packaging and down here you will see more of my supplies like solvents and paint now in this corner is where I store more supplies like my big sheet of specialty paper my 12 by 12 scrapbooks and a bunch of stickers and stamped images and other card making supplies this one down here is a special place I reserved for my new printer it's a Canon printer I got from HSN last year and it's supposed to be able to print 12 by 12 it has its own power outlet right over there and more supplies down here 